This is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association, located at 1601 East 18th Street, Suite 200L. What's up, Kansas City? I'm your host, Glenn Bryan Frizzell. Today's special segment is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association. Today's special guest name is Miss Sarah D. She is the event coordinator for the Kansas City Marathon that is coming up here in less than two weeks. Thank you for coming on the show, Miss D. Of course. Thank you for having me. We're excited. Awesome. Now, I'm training for this event. We'll get to my training here in a little bit, but tell us a little bit about the Kansas City Marathon. When did it start? How long? And, and what's, in the, what's in the woodshed for Absolutely. this year? Absolutely. Um, the Kansas City, Kansas City Marathon has been around since 1979, so we are hitting some milestones here. And um, we've got quite a few events wrapped up into the Kansas City Marathon weekend. We've got the Health and Fitness Expo on Thursday and Friday. Awesome. Um, super fun, high energy, lots of great vendors and health and fitness topics to be covered throughout those two days. Um, we've got the full marathon, which you're training for, and I cannot wait to hear about your training. Uh, the half marathon, which is probably the most popular one. Um, we've got about 7,000 people that will participate in that. Really? Um, yeah, and then the team relay, which is a community um, uh, uh, favorite. Mm -hmm. Um, you can register as a team and you run the full marathon course as a team, mm -hmm. breaking it up into three to five segments. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, the 5K and the kids' marathon as well. So it's a great um, day. And um, next week we'll be leading up to it um, for Saturday, October 17th. This is the main event. This is the Kansas City Marathon. Wh whose brainchild? Why did mm -hmm. it start? It has got such a rich history. How did it start? Yeah, it has got such a rich history from... Um, uh, back in the day, day when most marathons were all organized by community running groups, mm -hmm. you know, lots of volunteers, nobody was ever paid. Um, there is some, there are some great historical um, data and stories that go along with what started back in 1979 through the 80s. What used to be called the Macy's Marathon. It, there are some still fantastic people that still volunteer for us today that used to volunteer for it back in the 80s, back in the day when there was no paid staff and everything. You didn't even really have to, um, registration looks so different, mm -hmm. uh, volunteerism looks so different back in the 80s and 90s, and here we are today. The Kansas City Sports Commission has owned and operated the marathon for 10 years now. Um, and with the help of Waddell and Reed and Ivy Funds, we've been able to help it uh, sustain itself um, and grow in some areas as well. So, Sarah, tell us about how many volunteers? We'll need about 1,800 volunteers throughout the weekend. Tell us a little bit uh, about the, the route sure. since 1979. Has it changed at all? Absolutely. It used to go over into Kansas. Now it stays in wow. Missouri wow. Um, uh, for a number of reasons, but uh, it used to go over in Kansas. Um, yeah, it's had, it used to be primarily focused, at one point it was focused over in Swope Park as well. Mm -hmm. um, but this year we start at Crown Center. And we start and finish um, at Washington Park near Crown Center there. Mm -hmm. And um, we start and finish there and have for the last couple of years. Uh, we go through about 12 districts in Kansas City, Missouri, and we're real proud of all the districts that we go through. Everything from Brookside's always a favorite of the runners. Um, it's relatively flat over there, and it's, um, it's super fun to see those big houses and the beautiful lawns over mm -hmm. there in Brookside. Um, we go through the Luce Park and Westport. Um, Plaza, um, over here to Paseo and 18th and Vine, and this is where the fun really gets started over here because uh -oh. over here in this neighborhood, because all the, the music, all the music over here and the fun things you can see along the course, but because by this time of the course, when the runners get over to the 18th and Vine area, it's in the back side of the course, uh -huh. so we're we're, we might be hitting a roadblock, we might be getting tired. Or mile marker. Or um, mile. And for half, it's about 8 mm -hmm. or 9, maybe 10. Uh, for the full, you're looking at about 22. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that proverbial uh, roadblock can happen anywhere from 18 to 22 miles. And as runners, you just have to plow through that. I'm sure that music will get you pumped yes. up. I, I, this is my first year running. I'm and so I have proud been, of you. I've been training. I just ran 20 miles last week. Right. I'm on. not bragging on myself, but no. it is a huge accomplishment. Absolutely. I, the day of, I do hope to finish with the time under four hours. Okay. But uh, I, I, I've been told that it's a Kansas City tradition for people to stand on the sidelines and root and really rude. Sure. What does that look like? Um, it certainly helps the runners. Yeah, confidence. and so that's that's something, that's an initiative we've really tried to play up and really tried to focus on the last couple of years. 
Um, we've got some great volunteers that go around the community um, and rally spectator spots along the course that are easy to get to for, for spectators to go see. Um, the plaza is a very popular place to go and root, root on your and cheer on your runners. Um, over here at um, 20, the 25th mile and over here by the um, Paseos also because it's easy to get to. So spectators want a good place, a fun place to go go cheer people on. Um, over in Westport, there's some fun people that um, love to come out too. And some of the spectators you'll see along the course have fantastic f signs, funny signs, ones that I will say on camera. But um, there's some fun, entertaining you can tell things. Us. <laughs> <laughs> there's some fun, entertaining things going. We have about 16 bands throughout the course as well. Um, and those range wow. a lot of jazz and things like that because that's what Kansas City awesome. is known for. Um, we've got some, you know, blues and some country and DJs as well. So along the way, we try to make it um, something for runners to look forward to that next mile, that next um, thing to get to. I see you have your shirt on. I do. With the I do. Green as this well is as what. Yes. Medals. Here's our medals. Here's the full marathon. Feel that. You're going to get that. You're and going this to is, finish. This is just nice right here. This yes. is worth signing up. <laughs> right I on. I want one of these. <laughs> right on. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Yeah. And this is the half marathon okay. um, medal. And like I said, the half marathon. Um, we'll have upwards of about 7,000 participants participate in the half marathon, but the full marathon, that's definitely a bucket list as well. Mm -hmm. Now, what can runners expect? If I've entered the race and I'm running a half marathon, what can I expect the day of the event? I hope beautiful weather. <laughs> I've, been, I've been asking my teammates, I said, what do I wear? It's yeah. 20 degrees warmer. Uh, yes. Is there a place where, where we could meet up? Or? Yes. So Washington Park is a centralized location, um, and there's different um, markers throughout the park that you know if That's you good to know. you can you know meet at the horse. There's you know Washington's right there with the horse. Um, uh, there's also tents and stages and things like that at Washington Park. There's a whole finish line festival planned after the part after you run when you finish at um, Grand and Pershing there. Then you come into the park and there's food, and every, all participants get one beer. Awesome. And lots awesome. of water and fruit and recovery um, food as well. Now I read you can uh, run this race as young as 16. Would I get a beer from 16 or 17? Well, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> no, you had, do have to be 21. Now you've been planning this event. 16 bands in itself, that is a, that's an assignment in itself. Yeah. Can you tell us what some of the challenges and some of your... Uh, the rewards to planning, yeah, planning yeah. this event, Sarah? We, Sarah one of the biggest reasons and one of the biggest um, advantages that we feel, the Sports Commission feels about managing this Kansas City Marathon is that this is truly a community event. This is not about the Sports Commission. It's not about um, what necessarily we get out of it. This is one of the major events that we do um, throughout the year. But we do it because it showcases the great things about Kansas City. All the great, the 12 districts, the 18th and Vine area, Loose Park, all that good stuff that showcases Kansas City. The spectators, the bands, all that stuff is such a great asset to Kansas City. So, um, yes, it's challenging to recruit 1,800 volunteers. Um, it's challenging to... Um, Make sure the course is well marked and make sure you've got enough water and make sure your aid stations are all staffed appropriately. It's challenging. It's um, Nothing is ever turnkey, as, as some people call it. But it's important to the participation. It's important to the community. It's a tradition since 1979, and so I just want to um, hold true to that um, tradition. And what about the residents who may be frustrated about the parking? Right. Um, residents... Uh, not necessarily parking, yeah, but the traffic, traffic. that's being Yes, and on. we, um, again, over the last couple of years, have tried really hard to communicate with those residents and help them as best they can. Many of them, you know, there's about 12 to 13 churches along the course. Um, and on a Saturday, mm -hmm. if there's a wedding or something of that nature, we really want to work with them and make sure that they get the um, traffic, uh, get themselves around the traffic and the road closures and things like that. Most times, most times, all it takes is a little bit extra planning, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes extra. Allow yourself to get around that traffic. Um, that is one of the most important things. We work with the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department and our volunteers who work so hard to keep our participants safe and get those residents around um, around town. Excellent, excellent. Now, will the, the whole route, will, will the uh, traffic will be blocked off from vehicle 
vehicular traffic yes the so whole event. the whole event but it's a sliding you know it's a sliding road closure so mm -hmm. you don't you don't sliding road yeah closure. you know you don't most of those roads are closed the entire six hours we do have a six hour time limit and that's to be truly to be sensitive to our community so that the whole day isn't um, road closures so we really it's a it's a rolling road closure and you know once those participants are through those neighborhoods then we open up the road now my mom wants to come see and root and cheer me on where would she park um, at um, Washington Park area, if she wants to come down to the start finish, which is exciting and fun and there's a lot of energy. There's three bands that we have scheduled for that Washington Park area. That's fun. Um, uh, she can park over at Union Station. She can park at Crown Center. There's a ton of parking down there. Um, it does take That's an extra, design. yeah, it does take an extra um, amount of planning to mm -hmm. get there on time because everybody, imagine 10,000 people coming down. Because that's how many we'll have. 10,000 people. Yes. Wow, that's so, awesome. It'll be fun. Now, sir, you mentioned the Kansas City Sports Commission is actually hosting the event. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah. the organization? So we empower and inspire our community through sport. And sport can mean so many different things. It can mean anything from the Big 12 tournament. Mm -hmm. um, we manage that event. The Kansas City Marathon um, is on a national level as well. We also manage um, a Win for KC Women's Triathlon and Youth Clinic Series that mm -hmm. are free. Um, to kids 6 to 12 years old. So, you know, we use sport in a variety of different ways to engage our community, either through spectating or participation. And you also, are you were connected to Arrowhead? Um, we work with Arrowhead and the Chiefs and the Royals, but we don't, um, you know, we just work with them on projects and bringing certain events to town. Now tell us a little bit about your background. I understand that you've run a couple of marathons. I have. Maybe more than a couple. I have. I have through the years. You know, I know as um, as uh, life stages change, um, your your running changes. So yes, I've run a couple of um, full marathons and quite a few half marathons. I prefer the half marathon. Um, so yeah, and now I just run. I really run because um, it's my solitude. It's the time I get away away. It's my quiet time. So. so we have a runner among us. Uh, <laughs> As in yourself. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So we have first-hand knowledge of, of uh, running. Can you tell us a little bit about the benefits to running? Yeah. Not only do you uh, have an active physical exercise, it's, yeah. it's a promoting a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely. And running, um, running in of itself is pretty cheap. You know, it's one of those you don't need real expensive watches or tennis shoes or T-shirts or anything to do um, to to be a good runner, um, all that stuff, and that's what at the sports commission and especially the Kansas City Marathon, it's not about the Garmin usage or the the units or anything like that. Um, if you have a Nike Tech T or New Balance Tech T, it's really about just getting out there and trying something and pushing yourself. Whether you're getting off the couch to a 5K or you're really pushing yourself to a marathon. We're all going to get there. It's just a matter of time. Now, I understand that this has an economic impact on Kansas City of at least $8 million, $8.5 million, one economic uh, uh, person forecasted. That's because you have a lot of people coming from out of state, right? We do. We do. What's also interesting is about 60% of our runners, upwards of 70% of our runners, are from the greater Kansas City area. A lot of those folks from Olathe, area or out west, they'll come downtown and they will stay downtown for a night, you know, overnight at the Crown Center area and those kinds of things um, and spend money on Friday and Saturday and stay and then they'll go home on, at that point. But we do have, last year, we all 50 states were represented um, and so we've got a lot of travel in that respect. Um, so we're getting there. That's awesome. Uh, and this is a Boston qualifier, right? It's a Boston qualifier. What time would I have to qualify? It depends on your age. Do you want to give away your age? 30, <laughs> mid-30s, 35. I don't know off the top of my head what the Boston Marathon qualifier is for your age, but I do mine. I won't tell you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's something we can work on. Yes. Uh, we can work yes. on in the next decade. For you me. got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Sarah, we'd like to thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us how runners can register? We can still register, right? Absolutely. We can still register. Go to sportkc.org, and we are right there on the homepage. Uh, and uh, how can they get in touch with uh, you? Um, you could through email me yep, to the, through the organizational website, sportkc.org, and you can ask any questions. There's a lot of information on the website, but certainly if you want to send an email or call, we're available as well. 
Well, go ahead and register, guys. If you are all, if you aren't all in it for the 26.2 uh, miles of marathon, half marathon is good, and there's a 5K as well. You it's a great it. community event. Also, if you're not going to register, perhaps just come on out and cheer. Uh, you, the the route is online. If your neighborhood's involved. Uh, be sure to stand out there on the street and, and yell at us. <laughs> I, I've been training and you know it's, it's just going to be an awesome, excellent event. Uh, we want to invite you to come back and talk to us a little bit maybe next time you have a different project. Okay. Do you have any final words for us? Ms. Good D? luck. Good luck. Thank You're you. You're going to do great. And that's the gold medallion final words. My <laughs> name is Glenn Brian Frizzell. This is What's Up Kansas City. Check out more video online at www.whatsupkansascity.net. And remember, the sky's the limit. Aim high. Shoot for the moon or run a marathon. Uh, if you miss, at least you would have landed among the stars. Take care until next time. I'm IFBB Bikini Pro Cat Williams, and when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and What's Up Kansas City. So make sure you check them out.